Hello everyone, my name is Howard and I am a device engineer at eMemory. Thank you for joining our first webinar in 2021. Today I am going to talk about eMemory's RN solution. As silicon processes are entering deep submicron and narrow meter region, floating gate memory, which occupies a majority of non volatile memory technology, faces its physical limits, such as data retention and power consumption. Scientists and memory experts have been working on emerging memory technologies for a long time, including phase change memory, ferro electronic memory, magneto memory, or resistive memory. The goal is to find suitable materials appropriate device structures, periphery circuits, process modules, good process margins, and so on. During this decade, some of those emerging memory have been converged significantly, which make it possible to mass production. In memory, a major player in embedded memory field, also during this process of emerging memory development and got positive results from RN technology. I will be separating today's talk into four parts. The first one is the introduction of RN technology. In this session, I will talk about the cell architecture process and operation. Afterwards, I will talk about our IP characteristic specification and provide a comparison from the process and the specification point of view. In the third session, I will share the target marketing of RN and our IP development status. Finally, I will summarize today's webinar. The RN cell is constructed with an 1T1 architecture which includes one slate transistor and one resistive switching element. The resistive switching element is located between two metal layers, metal 2 and metal 3. From the RN cell architecture, we know that the RN cell is integrated in the baking process. This is one virtue of emerging memory because it doesn't alter the front end process while building the memory cell. On this page, I'm going to show you the detailed process flow and the TM causation. Please see the process flow on the left. After metal 2 formation, other than the typical VL2 metal 3 dual dimension process to follow up, the resistive memory process module and the two non critical masks are inserted, followed by the typical metal 3 mask. To do this, a first mask is inserted to define a show via. After that, the resistive thin stake layer are deposited and then patented by the second mask. Of course, a typical VL2 mask still defines the VL2 pattern outside the memory definition region. And the metal 3 mask defines all metal 3 patterns of the chip. The process does not impact the original CMOS process and maintain the virtue of its low temperature deposition of resisting material. During the RAC process flow, there is an additional non critical mask for the alignment mark of the superficial stake layer of show via and the resistive things. The right picture shows the TEM causation. Between the top and the button electrode, the resistive material are TA205 and the TAOX. Before we talk about the RN switching characteristics, let me first introduce the naming of RN cell operations. The first operation is form operation. It is an initialization process. In general, we do the form process during wafer sorting. The second one is set operation, which is similar to program or write one operation. The third one is reset operation, which is similar to erase or write zero operation. The fourth one is low resistance state, which is similar to unstate or data one. The last one is high resistance state, 
which is similar to of state over data zero. The low resistance state and the high resistance state are to be sensed through the re-operation. Iron technology has been studied for decades and developed on logic process for over 10 years. There are many research on the switching mechanism, such as conductive bridging, extreme migration, local crystallization, and so on. Our iron is a oxide based iron. As you can tell in the structure page, the switching mechanism is based on the migration of oxygen ions, or in other words, oxygen vacancies, which refers to the seeds linking in oxygen ions. The TA2O5 fin is an insulator with very high resistance as deposited initially. To build the resistive switching characteristic, that is a viable iron switching operation. A form operation is required. The switching IV curve shows a breakdown behavior when applied with enough bias. After the foam step, conductive filaments are generated by breaking down the covalence band between tantalium and the oxygen atoms in the TA2O5 layer, freeing or ionizing the oxygen ions, pushing the oxygen ions towards TAOX compounds and accumulating them within. So after that, there will be a amount of oxygen vacancies left inside the TA2O5 fin. After the foam operation, there are two operations to make the RN cell switching between high and low resistance state, the set and the reset operation. The set operation switches the cell from a high resistance state to a low resistance state by pushing action vacancy towards the TA2O5 TAOX fin stack interface, while the reset operation switches the cell backwards from a low resistance state to a high resistance state by pushing the vacancies away from the interface. On this page, I will first talk about the switching mechanism of set operations. Voltage will be applied to the gate and the source of the transistor to conduct zero volt to one end of the iron stack. While enough bin line bias is applied, the action ions are relocated in the TAOX compound thing leaving action vacancies in the TA2O5 layer and uh, therefore building a current path, namely a conductive filament. After that, the RAC is switching to a low resistance state. Next, let's talk about the reset operation. Voltage will be applied to the gate and the drain of the transistor. As you can see, the polarity of the bias is switched upside down. When enough bias is applied, the IV curve shows a degraded behavior to push the oxygen ions back to the TA2O5 layer and neutralize the oxygen vacancies. After that, the RAC is switched to a high resistance state. As for the high resistance state, the oxygen vacancies are removed from conductive filaments. From say to reset conditions, we adopt a bipolar switching behavior for the RN operation. Furthermore, the say and the reset bias conditions are defined lower than the condition needed for the aforementioned form operation. Here we show the IV curves to depict the controllability of the filaments. From the previous page, we know how to switch the RAC to a low resistance state. During the set operation, we not only apply the bias, but also a current compliance scheme to limit the switching. As you can see, there are two IV curves, black and orange, which represents different compass current level. By applying different compass current, the size of the conductive filaments enhance the RN cell 
resistance could be controlled. The risk operation current could be also reduced by means of a lower compressed current, which makes it possible for low power operation. The low resistance state could be controlled by different compressed currents, which will help achieve a multi-level cell operation for AI computing in memory applications. After a brief introduction of RN technology, let's talk about the reliability. Generally speaking, reliability refers to the cycling endurance and the retention after cycling. Next, I will talk about the RN IP spec and the compare with other embedded memories. Two plus are shown here. One is the 10K endurance and the other is the data retention. The left one shows a stable continuous 10K cycle endurance with a sufficient cell window. After the cycling, we put the post 10K cycle chip in the 175 degree C oven to check the data retention. Let's move to the plot on the right side. After 36 hours of baking, the low resistance state dropped will be decreased, which means parts of the oxygen vacancies in the conductive filaments are recombined. It is the same phenomena for the high resistance state, where the resistance becomes higher after baking. From these curves, we could conclude the low resistance state and the high resistance state follows similar retention models. Based on the EA calculation, the 175 degree C 36 hours is equivalent to 85 degree C 10 years in a lifetime. The RN technology also has potential for high temperature applications. To evaluate the high temperature reliability, we put the post cycle chip in the 200 degree C oven. We monitor the data retention for more than 350 hours, which is equivalent to 125 degrees C for 10 years lifetime. The data shows sufficient cell current window to enable e-fresh replacement for applications in high V or BCD processes. Here we list a RN IP spec example at a certain 40 nanometer ultra low power process. In its current stage, the memory density is 4 Mb in the main memory bank plus one 16 kbit information block. The read speed is 25 nanosecond and the typical write speed is 100 microsecond. The maximum read and write temperatures are 105 degrees C. The maximum endurance is 10K, and the data retention is 85 degrees C 10 years. Also, it is built with in-chip repair and the error detection correction functions. The following two pages show the embedded memory comparison, which including RN, split gate flash, and the two in-memory floating gate type memories. From process point of view, the RN cell structure is simple compared to the other three memory cells. And there are only two to three X quad marks for integration in baking process, which is good for process porting. In regard to the front end process, floating gate type memories need a gate outside thick enough to ensure layer retention, such as a 3.3 volt or 5 volt IO device, which is typically not available in 40 nanometer process and beyond, but it doesn't affect the RN technology nor the 2.5 volt or even 1.8 volt IO device space. Therefore, RN technology is more affordable as process scale down. From the specification point of view, Due to its extremely small cell size and the B-by-B accessible array architecture, the RN can be operated like a traditional double-e-prone 
with the read write function, but the other three memory cell cannot. Therefore, in terms of overall power consumptions, the much lower operation bias conditions make the read and the write power consumptions of RN lower than other memories. Moving on, let's talk about the target marketing of RN and its IP development status. Regarding the target marketing, the RN technology can be applied to many applications such as MCU, display driver, power manager IC, core storage, and so on. Now, now that we already have an idea on what the RN technology is, you may wonder what is in-memory status in RN. We are now developing on two technology nodes, 40 nanometer and 22 nanometer. The 40 nanometer RN IP will be qualified by Q2 this year. The 22 nanometer RN IP will be silicon verified by June and expected to be qualified by the end of this year. To round up, what's the advantage of RN? In short, it is a simple cell structure with two to three extra masks, making it easy to shrink, adapt in backend process without space model change, and used for multi-level cell for AI computing in memory applications. More importantly, RN in memory specialty and the true double E prompt the read write function, which makes it easy to use. To summarize today's webinar, eMemory is developing 40 and 22 nanometer embedded RN IPs with several advantages. The advantages include e-fresh replacement in advanced node over high VBCD process, and the RN switch mechanism makes it suitable for AI computing in memory applications. Thank you for joining today's webinar. This is Howard speaking. Uh, currently, uh, we are collecting uh, the question from your your uh, your messages. So, uh, please, if you have any question, please leave your uh, message by use the Q A button below. Uh, thank you, Howard speaking. Okay. Uh, we uh, have few questions. Uh, the first one, uh, some people ask. Who uh, can you uh, describe the core plan you are using for IREN technology? Okay, uh, this is our answer. Uh, the core plan includes endurance tests at a high temperature and the room temperature. Uh, the HTO error of uh, continuous standby and the recycle retention at a high temperature and the room temperature. Uh, all these test items will be qualified for three lots. And uh, as for the HTO error and the retention qualification, all samples in these items need to be cycled to the uh, li to the spec limited before entering the flow to see if the worst condition do any significant uh, harm to the samples. Okay. Uh, the second question: uh, Is there any new development plan of Iran? Uh, Yes, uh, but uh, it is still under discussion about the uh, iron development at a high V or BCD platform. Okay, the, uh, the third question, when will be the iron design key available? Currently, the 40 uh, nanometer will be qualified by Q2. So we plan to provide the uh, design kit by Q3. Okay, uh, the first question is about the uh, uh, which uh, foundry process. Currently, uh, we are working with Taiwan based foundry, and the further detail will be announced soon as we complete the qualification. Okay, uh, regarding the presentation material, uh, after the uh, webinar today, uh, we will put the uh, video on our e memory website, and you can you can check check the the web uh, the video from our website yeah 
Okay. Uh, some people ask uh, about the uh, uh, year. Yeah. Currently, uh, we are doing qualification, as explained earlier. The year of all three lags looks similar and stable, which implies a good process stability in a short run. As for the precise uh, number of sorting year, we will, we will publish in our standard uh, qualification report in Q3 this year. Okay, uh, uh, some people ask about the uh, backend uh, skiing. Yeah. Uh, currently, we didn't see any significant uh, significant uh, limits on the backend process. Regarding the forty nanometer, currently we decide uh, we we provide our first uh, uh, prototype of the four megab for the uh, maximum density. Uh, if we uh, we, we will uh, depends uh, which depends on uh, customers uh, requirement. We, we can uh, maybe we can provide more higher density. Currently, the first prototype is four megab for forty nanometer iron regarding the density. Since uh, this time limited, uh, we we will uh, finish our uh, webinar. So if you have any further question, uh, you can contact our uh, CEO sales. Yeah, thank you for joining today's webinar.